What we've been clear about is the president needs both the authority to complete the TPP deal as well as the authority necessary to enforce it. And there are obviously strongly held views in the Senate that many times cross partisan lines uh, about the wisdom of the way in which the legislation is written uh, and advanced through the Senate. So these are procedural challenges that, uh, that members of the Senate will have to work through. Uh, and you know, I, uh, the, the President of the United States and members of his staff will continue to remain engaged uh, in having conversations with members of the Senate, both Democrats and Republicans, uh, about the substance of this proposal. And we're going to continue to uh, work through uh, these challenges with them. Procedural challenges ultimately determine the fate of legislation, however, and I'm wondering, given the effort that the President has put into this, what does it say about about those efforts if right now on the verge on the on the verge of this of this vote we still don't know which way it's going to come out. Well Jim I just would observe that these kinds of procedural snafus have cropped up even when we're talking about otherwise pretty simple and straightforward pieces of legislation. And the legislation that currently is um, that has been passed through the Senate Finance Committee uh, is anything but simple and straightforward. Uh, I think anybody would acknowledge this is complicated, uh, but the President believes that it doesn't give him the authority that's necessary to uh, complete the deal uh, and to enforce it, and that's why he has uh, been strongly encouraging Democrats uh, to support it. Uh, but that's different from the kind of procedural snafu that currently is facing the United States Senate. Uh, so they're going to have to you know, work through this challenge, and we'll remain engaged with them as they do.